Well, today we're going to take and uh, do a little, not really a cooking episode. What we're going to do is we're going to take these potatoes here. We're going to go wash them all up. Then we're going to come back and uh, we're going to slice them up a couple of different ways. Some of them we're going to make into uh, chunks for like fried potatoes and stuff and then others we're going to do in hash browns. So I'm going to go wash these all up and we'll be right back. Well, I hope the audio has come out good here today. <clears throat> what we're going to be doing is going to be uh, dehydrating some potatoes for uh, two different ways. We're going to be doing some with uh, shredded for like hash browns and then some chunked for uh, fried potatoes or putting in soups and stews and stuff. So what I got here is a mandolin and uh, this particular one has a uh, large blade of course and then it's got a, a series of small blades that pop up. Um, I guess you can see that. Those are the big ones for doing uh, larger slices and then for that for like shredding for your hash browns and stuff. So we'll yeah. Okay, well, I'll be slicing and dicing this video. <laughs> but uh, we're going to use the smaller blades like that for doing the hash browns. Then what we're going to do is we're going to stick them over here in the bowl of water just to keep them fresh so they don't start browning on us. And then we got a pot of boiling water on the stove. We're going to parboil them. Then we'll bring them back and we'll put them just off the camera. This is my dehydrator here. We're going to layer them in the dehydrator, get them going. Then when they're all done, we'll be back and show you that. But let me show you how this mandolin works. I'm going to just start with a small potato here first. Now you want to make sure when you buy one of these, you get a good one. Um, now this isn't one of the best, but as you can see, the handle for it has got these little teeth in there and you can slide your potato down in there and then as you go you push the plunger down and it releases more and then the sides of this glide on the uh, edges of this once you get it down so to a certain height or in there so let's get going with this we'll start to uh, start cutting some of these uh, up here because one, I think they'll cook a lot quicker. And two, I tried this once before after cooking the potato first and it, you end up with a, a pretty good mess of uh, half mashed potatoes everywhere. So I'm gonna try it uh, this way first uh, by taking and 
shredding it up. Anyway, that's going to be our hash browns. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start boiling these. And then uh, we'll come back. I'll dry them off and stuff after they're boiled. We'll lay them out on the, uh, the trays for the dehydrator and we'll go from there. Get back to you in just a minute. Well, I got these par cooked or par boiled. And what we're going to do is we're going to use some of these inserts, put them down there. Now what you want to do is you want to put your potatoes on there, but you want to try to get them so they're not all bunched up. Try to get them single layered in there. That way they'll dry easier, quicker. Now it's okay if you have some laying on top and stuff. You don't have to have them completely single layered. But you want to spread out so the air can get through there and circulate. Now I noticed a few of these didn't quite get hard boiled enough, I don't think. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, even if they are a little bit on the black side, um, they're still edible. I don't think they're going to hurt you. They may not be pleasing to the eye. We'll, we'll see what they look like when we're done with them here. And go from there. Now when I do the other potatoes for the soups and stews, um, you do want those uh, pretty much single layer because uh, they're thicker, they'll take longer to dry, so we probably will finish that off camera because I got to put these and start drying and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me over the dehydrator. We'll film part of it and see how it goes. And if it's okay, we'll put it in there. If not, we'll, uh, maybe we'll put some music over it. <laughs> anyway, let me get these uh, situated and then the dryer going. And we'll get back to you when we start to do the other potatoes. Okay, well, we got the hash browns in there. Dehydrating up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the thicker blade or diameter. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some uh, potatoes for if we we're going to make like a soup or something like that. Now I could just slice them and then dice them with the knife, but this is a lazy way of doing it. It's going to make smaller pieces of potato than a stew would normally have. Let me do a couple here. Okay, what I'm going to do, they're coming out like french fries, and then what I'll do is I'll make them into chunks about like so. And uh, so, and then we're going to take all the ends from when we made the hash browns and dice them up and put them in there with it also. So let me get some of these done and we'll get back to the view. I hope you can hear this with the noise of the dehydrator and just right behind you is water boiling. So let me get these uh, done up and we'll get back to you in just a few minutes. Okay, I got all these bigger pieces done. I decided to leave them like they are and uh, go ahead and uh, I'm going to parboil them and then dehydrate them like they are. That way, I don't know if you can make them into french fries afterwards or not, but I think we're going to try it. And then I kept all the ends and stuff and uh, chopped them up in big chunks. I'm not going to dehydrate those, so I'm going to fry me up some potatoes tonight. Anyway, um, I got the water boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and boil these, or parboil them, and we'll get back to you in just a little bit. Well, we got these big pieces of potato done. Now what we're going to do is spread them out, 
on here. Uh, might have gotten a little too done. Might end up being mashed potatoes when we rehydrate them. I don't know. But I was having problems with my stove and got a bad burner on there. Kept shutting off on me. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and lay these out on the rack, get them in the dehydrator, let them dehydrate overnight, and we'll come back in the morning and finish this out and show you what we got for our potato uh, dehydration here. Well, it's the next day. Let's see what we got going in here. Let me go ahead and shut this off. Right now we're going through a an ice storm here. Well, you can see the hash browns that came out pretty good. They're not black at all. I'm sure they'll rehydrate just fine. So we're able to use that. Definitely dry enough. We'll wait until they cool down a little bit. Oh yeah. That's going to be fine. That's going to be some nice stuff to put in some soups. I tell you. Maybe not chunky enough for stew. We're going to have to do this again. And uh, cut them up by hand into nice cubes. Uh, I think I am going to go with uh, cooking the potatoes first next time. And... Uh, and then chunking it up and dehydrating them. Because uh, when I did this, I accidentally overcooked them and almost came out with mashed potatoes. So I believe when I rehydrate these in soup, some of the, you can see the, the starch and the uh, powdered potato on there. So I think what's going to happen is that's going to thicken up a soup. My soups usually end up kind of like a stew anyway. Uh, I like uh, a nice thick soup. I put a lot of vegetables and stuff in it. So. Anyway, there you go. And uh, when we do it next time, we'll bring you back. We'll make another video. And hopefully it'll turn out better than this one. Right now in this room, it's about 45 degrees. So it's kind of cold. I don't usually keep this part of the house heated. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. We're getting ready to do a three or four part, I'm not sure yet, uh, series on if I was to have to bug out. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up soon. And we got another one. We're going to try to uh, do some work on some fire starting. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay prepared.